Yeah, what's up, boys? I'm going to be reviewing the new Cintio V17 car from the Overdrive crate. It looks pretty slick. Let's go ahead and look at the decals that it has. Let's see, Echo Pulse. It looks pretty nice, the black and red. Flagman. Oh, I actually really like this with, like, the, um, the, the checkered flag on the back. It would probably look good to see the blue car. Yeah, it's kind of like a mixture between the two colors with the flags, especially with, I think I have the uh, metallic pearlescent paint on. I think that looks really nice. The L-I-T-A-99. Same decal, pretty much, from the other new car. Mint. Pretty clean. I'm not too big of a fan of these stripes. It looks kind of weird how, like, thin they are. I see tribal. Oh, Tribal looks better in a print that's not black and red, but it's still not really my favorite. I think Echo Pulse was my favorite of all of those. Let's go ahead, let's listen to the engine, since we can now. That sounds pretty good. Let's hop up into a game and see if this car really behaves like the uh, Batmobile does. Alright, we're in game. Looking at this car in game, it kind of looks more like Dominus to me than Batmobile, like hitbox wise, but we'll see how it plays out. A lot of the times, or at least with the uh, Batmobile and Batmobile and Dominus, the Batmobile is better on the ground than the Dominus, and the Dominus is more prominent in the air. By that, I mean the Batmobile is usually better taking 50-50s. Not too sure about the Cintio yet, though. It should be more likely to be like the Batmobile because of the new... the new car standardization update. This car was lumped together with the Batmobile. We'll see how it plays out, though. Car feels pretty good turning. Nothing really to complain about with it. It's not too sluggish, it's not too fast or anything. Seems solid so far. Also something I didn't mention in the while looking at the car in the garage. It has two boosters on the back, which looks really nice with a lot of boost. Not particularly the gold rush boost, although it still does look really nice. But a lot of the straight line boosts, like Data Stream or the Ions, look really good with cars that have two boosters on them. The engine actually sounds good in game. It's not like the. Holy shit, I can't remember the name of the other new car. I keep wanting just to call it Anus for some reason, but the Animus? Where the Animus ended up being really high pitch in game, the engine for this car sounds really nice. I haven't really gotten any opportunity to see how well it takes 50-50s yet. Well, that's all good. Biggest difference with cars in 50-50s is how you have to take them. Cars that are low profile, like this one seems to be, you sometimes have to jump into balls that you wouldn't have to with cars like Octane. This car is definitely low to the ground though. With the way it handles, it's definitely more of a uh, Batmobile car than it would be a Dominus car. This car also looks really nice in game though. This and the Animus, both of the cars actually look really good. Honestly, I think that I like how this looks better than the Animus because of the twin, the twin boost on the back.
That's really good. See, let's see if we can. I was gonna see if we can carry the ball, but I guess not. This decal looks really good on it as well. It looks a lot better than I thought it would, at least. With some of the blurred edges on this decal, I thought it might have looked uh, silly in game, but it definitely doesn't. If we look at the side of the car, we can see just how low it is. Being low to the ground is something that the Batmobile is kind of big for. Since it's easier to control the low flat car that it is. I'd say that this car is more of a mix between the Dominus and the Batmobile than, though, than it would be just one of them. I couldn't really- I can't really put my finger on which one I would put it more towards at this point. I can say, though, that in my opinion, it looks better than both of those cars. Oh, well, looks like demos work on it, so that's good. Uh, something else important to note is that it, uh, I haven't really had any problems going up walls with it. It hasn't clipped into walls or had any wobbly landings. So that's really good. Especially since it's uh, kind of like the Batmobile. It's good that it wasn't, that it's not wobbling like one. Overall so far, this car has been fairly good to me. Not really anything that's happened with the car itself that I can complain about. Its handling is good and um... One of the best looking cars so far in my opinion. So how's that going for it which is really nice. And he left. Alright. That's one way to look at this car. Oh no, I would definitely recommend this car as well. Both these new cars have been really good, the Animus and the Sentio. This of course being the Sentio. If you guys would like to see my opinion on the Animus, I'm going to put the link below in the description. You guys can be sure to see it there. Oh, this car looks so nice though. Looks so nice even like in the post-game. I'll see y'all around. Peace.